Morning, afternoon, oh, just another day, did it, did it, did it, just another day. I need music. <coughs> I need to stop that coughing shit. Probably need more cigars, too. Yeah, cigars, I'm sm these are, well, oh, Dean's little cigars I'm smoking. At any rate, I did something stupid last night, um and was moving some wires around now I got a little bit of a buzz I don't know if, if it'll come out in the video or not I don't know if it's in the microphone or if it's just in in the uh, in the speakers and I'm getting in my headphones and getting because I because I've got crappy stuff I've got it's just rigged together it's bubble gum and chicken wire and I'll tell you, a lot of what I'm saying is true. A lot, a lot of what I'm saying is very true. Um, some people made some mention about like my microphone. I don't know if I've ever explained this to you guys. Let me move this out of the way here. Man, this place is looking like crap. I don't know if I ever explained this to you guys. But if I have it, I'm going to now. Okay. I've got like like a really cool like camera set up and and all that kind of stuff, right? Like, like Zen Archer Rocks, right? Now, this microphone that I use for the radio show, this little, this fancy thing here, it's got, you know, it's got the whole arm thing going on, you know, so I can move it where I want it and stuff. What this is, um, for those of you who don't know, this is a karaoke mic that came free with a $35 karaoke machine that doesn't doesn't have like CD capability at all it's just a it's a, just a little like amplifier that has an echo effect and it comes with the microphone you put a tape in it in order to uh, in order to play alright so that's what this microphone is now I bought a piece of foam rubber to go on it to, to cut down the uh, the wind you know so I don't like pop when I talk and that was like seven bucks it was it was like a third of what I paid for the karaoke machine it's it's just a crappy microphone and this this little piece right here that holds the microphone on that is the part on a bicycle that holds the handlebars from moving and it's attached to the arm with a piece of inner tube from a bicycle like cut into a really big rubber band and wrapped around and that's how it's connected the the arm itself this used to be one of those lamps that you can buy for like five dollars and attach to your desk so that you know you got a lamp on your desk and the 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 shade got like bent in half in the process of moving and I was gonna throw it out <clears throat> but I'm one of those people that hates to throw anything out so what I did was I ripped that part off the whole lamp part off I took the cord out of it and I just had this arm I didn't know what I was gonna do with eventually that became the mic holder that's what that is and where it attaches to the desk that got broke too uh, or lost so I got a C-clamp and a piece of pipe and I, I wire tied the piece of pipe to the C-clamp and then I C-clamped the thing onto, um, onto like a Ouija board, a little thin piece of board and then I slid it between the glass on my desk and the legs in order to hold it in place and that's what the, the mic stand is connected to. This is all true. This is, this is all true. There's no lies here. The computer that I use currently in order to do my uh, my vlogs and be on stick cam and everything else is a donated computer that I got a year ago from uh, my brother when they upgraded the equipment at work. Um, he brought me a computer, which was really nice of him, and I appreciate it. And was faster than what I had, but it's a it's a Pentium 4, two gigabyte computer. Uh, it's got uh, 512 k of memory in it, and it's got about a 200 gig hard drive in it. It is attached. There, there's. I'm attached to a network to other computers, which are all less capable than this one is. That's the computer that I'm working on. <laughs> Two of the webcams that I have came from Stickcam.com. Thank you, Stickcam, for doing that. I appreciate it. 
and uh, we certainly could. Uh, I can always use an extra webcam because I've got enough computers. Uh, this way, I can have one on everyone. But uh, Stickham liked the show that we do on Sunday, so they sent us some shirts and some uh, webcams and stuff, and that was really nice of them. Um, that's what I'm on now. This is one of those webcams. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. This is this is a, a second one that they sent to us. So that's uh, that's what the webcam looks like. It's got a little sticky cam logo and stuff on it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the camera I had before that, uh, before I had these, is and I still use it. Is I had of a Creative Creative Labs webcam. Uh, Creative Labs Pro that sat on top of my uh, monitor and um, I think it was about a year ago maybe not even a year ago I went out and I bought a uh, palm quarter a Panasonic palm quarter for like two hundred dollars I think it was and that's what I do my videos on that's when I, when I go outside and I take videos that's what it is I use now the reason this mic sounds so good is actually thanks to my friends um, uh, Scooter Trash from StickCam.com um, had his somewhere he's from, that's not who he works for he's just somebody who has a user account there. Um, he found a Radio Shack four channel mixer uh, in a pawn shop for like forty bucks or fifty bucks, and he told me if I wanted it, just send him you know just reimburse him for it and he'd send it to me. And uh, at the time, I, d I didn't have the 50 bucks. Well, another one of my friends, uh, one PC doc, also from over at Stick Camp, uh, said, well, you know, then don't worry about it. He said, I'll just, I'll just pay for it and, and donate it and send it. So, so one PC doc sent me the money, and then I sent the money to Scooter, and Scooter sent me the, uh, the mixer. So that's how we have a mixer on the show. That's how we bring Tara 916's voice in and stuff like that. If, for those of you who have seen the show. At any rate. I like the fact that my stuff is crap. Now, obviously, I'd like to have good stuff. But I enjoy this idea, the, the idea that I have taken stuff that most people would have tossed out. So many, the, the one computer... I think the uh, I've got a Pentium 2 as a server computer and a Pentium 3 that I run Skype on and run the music on for the show. Uh, I like the fact that instead of throwing those out, I'm still using them. But uh, you see this, like you can't see my fingers when I do that. Part of that is the camera and then part of it is the, the, the speed of the computer and how little memory it's got in it. And I like it because I'm just a guy. You know? I mean my whole my whole channel is about just being just a guy. You know, I'm happy. I'm a I'm a happy guy, but like my whole channel is just about being a guy. So, New Year's is coming up, and Christmas has passed. I didn't get a new computer, or I didn't get any new stuff. I'm thinking about buying a digital camera. I want to get something that's decent quality for, you know, a little bit of money. Because I really like taking pictures and stuff. I'm very graphically oriented. So, I'm going to do that. And thank you to those of you who have emailed me already and, and told me what cameras you would suggest. And... Uh, you know, told me about your own cameras and things like that. Thank you also for the, those people who responded to my video with, with uh, snapshots of what it looks like on monetized videos because I didn't know that. It has been a long and a wonderful year. I've I've been lucky enough to do a lot of stuff out here on the web that has been very emotionally rewarding for me. Not not necessarily financially rewarding. But emotionally rewarding. I've also, uh, <clears throat> you know, I put, I, I, I have my my buttons up, my PayPal buttons, and my support the radio station buttons up, and and I've been lucky with both of those too. Some people have sent me money for the show and stuff, and and I've used it for the show. I've I've bought materials for the show and stuff. Um, the computer that that uh, the computer that that actually sends out the our shoutcast is a Pentium. It's a Pentium 2 laptop computer. 
I don't I don't know what the megahertz is on it, but it's low. It's low, but it does the job. So when we're broadcasting through Shoutcast, I use that in order to run the Shoutcast out. <coughs> Seems like I'm getting websites and 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 stuff all over the place. I mean, you know, I'm at Meta Cafe and I'm at Rever and I'm at Google and the video and I'm at YouTube and I've got an account over at Live Video and I'm at Stickcam and I'm on YouTube. I'm like everywhere. And I really enjoy that, all of it. I enjoy making friends and and uh, debating sometimes with friends. But I need. I'm a needy person, I guess. I don't know. I don't feel needy. Usually, when I express my, you know, wow, I wish I'd had something like that. Not, I, I'm not really wanting anybody to give it to me. I'm just expressing that, you know, it would be something that would be nice to have. And eventually, usually, if it's something's important to me, I'll write it down and, and I'll eventually get it because I'll save for it and I'll get it. I'm, you know, you save your pennies and you go get what you want. And I have no idea what this video is about. But it's like, I need, you know, I need a shave today. I haven't hit the shower yet and I need a haircut and I need hair. Well, I have hair. I need more hair. It's kind of like the same thing as a computer. I've got a computer, but I need a better computer. Well, I need more hair, you know, um, the, and and hair that won't fall into my coffee, which happens often. Yeah, because there's nothing like drinking down a hair when you're drinking your coffee. I know some of you just winced. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I need, but you know what I don't need. And I saw a video by my friend Hello Rodney here at Stick at YouTube today. I don't need to do better videos. I'd like to do better videos, and half the time my camera is like all over the place, and I don't, you know, I, I can't get the settings right, and, and and at least not that I'm comfortable with. I try to do the best I can. When I get the blur, you know, especially when I'm when I'm doing from the webcam. But. Uh, I think I need to do more crappy videos like this one. And I think you should do more crappy videos. You know, a lot of you come on YouTube and you're you're a little embarrassed. You don't know if you want to suffer the slings and the arrows of the uh, the haters out here and stuff. Eh, they're just idiots. You know, and if you just go, they're just idiots. They won't bother you. I mean, they will bother you. They'll come over and they'll say all kinds of lewd and disgusting things to you and, and, and shock you sometimes at, at the, the level of stupidity and ignorance behind those comments. But, you know, that's all part of life. You also get a lot of people that telling you they think you're God and you can't give either one of those, pe those groups the power to define who you are. But just come out here and do a video. You know, I don't care if you've got a crappy $25 camera that's sitting on your desk. What would you buy it for? You bought it to use. So use it. Come on here and do a video. Say, hey, you know what? I had a really nice Christmas. And uh, oh, I hope everybody has a great new year. Whatever. You know, and don't worry about how blurry it is. And don't worry about, oh, I got to have a title. Or, or I, need to, uh, I need to get software so that I can, I can really, really do like fancy stuff. I use Windows Movie Maker. And uh, I've got a couple little add-ons on it, but uh, I'm perfectly happy with it. There, I would like to do uh, chroma key, uh, green screen, blue screen, and uh, I may eventually get some software to do that so that I can, I can fancy this up a bit. But uh, it's not important. You know, just just do your videos. Because people don't watch my channel to see how good is my guitar look like in the background. And they certainly don't watch me because I'm a pretty boy. They watch me because for some reason what I say is either entertaining or enlightening or gives them an aha moment where they go, aha, never thought of that. I mean, that's why you guys watch, right? Now, I want to do better videos, and I intend to try to do the best videos that I can, given the equipment and stuff that I've gotten. But uh, for those of you who haven't made videos yet, do it. 
You know, and for those of you who think that the internet is for young people, look around. There's myself, there's Hello Rodney, he's older than shit. Uh, there's uh, Zipster08, you know, there's Renetto, there is um, Experiments in Honesty, just came back to YouTube. You know, there's a lot of us that are not, you know, we're not 18 years old anymore. And we're out here doing videos and we're entertaining people and, you know, we're giving our opinions and we're communicating. And you can be a part of that. Um, and even if you can't, comment, you know. Co put in the comment area what you think. You know, we'd like to hear from you. Even if you think, oh, that's a crappy video, Zen. Put it in the comment area. I don't care. You know, you tell me it's a crappy video, I go, yeah, I know, it kind of sucks, but that's what I got. Or I say, hey, you know what, maybe I need a little better videos. <clears throat> so I guess the whole purpose of this thing is I need, I need, I need. If you're waiting until you have all the things that you need in life in order to do something with it, you're going to be waiting all of your life because you will never have everything that you need and want. Instead... Take advantage of the things that you have and use them in creative ways in order to do things that are entertaining. Or they either entertain you or your family or your friends or your online friends. Use what you've got. Keep your eye on the prize and work for more. Work towards more. But don't, let, don't, don't get so caught up in what you need that you stop moving forward always move forward and I have I have a, a, a couple of commitments I know the New Year's is coming up and people are looking at uh, people are looking at what you know <coughs> their New Year's resolutions oh, well I'm gonna I'm gonna eat better this year and I'm gonna lose weight and I'm gonna pay attention to my husband more yeah you don't want to do that trust me because you start paying attention to him you realize he picks his nose and scratches his ass a lot more than you thought he did try to not pay as, as much attention that might be a good resolution uh, but what I'm saying here is just use what you got you know come on here and, and do your thing and if you're waiting to have a, a great camera in order to do videos with you're gonna be waiting a long time in all probability or you're gonna put yourself in debt for a website that you may not end up doing anything with if you got a webcam use it you got a little still picture camera you know digital camera and go around and take pictures and you know put your voice over pictures I've done a couple of those videos but just don't get so caught up in it my resolutions if I have any and I usually don't because it, I carry my resolutions through throughout the year um, I've made a commitment to myself and uh, and I do follow it I go to freerice.com and every day, every single day, I play that game long enough to donate 3,000 grains, minimum, minimum of 3,000 grains of rice to people who need it. And uh, so I donate a couple bowls of rice a day. It doesn't cost me anything but a little bit of time. I enjoy doing it and it feeds people. And you can do that too. Just go to free rice. I'll put it down here. Freerice.com. It's fun. It's just it's fun. And it's helpful to people. I plan in the in the uh, I, I pl I'm I'm trying and, and this is always a battle for me. I'm trying to be more organized and to you'll see my channel changing here and at stick cam and a lot of other places my blog. You'll see all of that changing in order to try to be a little more organized so it's easier for you guys to use, including the podcast thing. Um, I've got, like, on my uh, Cafe Press stuff, I've got, like, one picture up, and it's on every freaking thing. I'm planning on putting more pictures up, so there's a variety of stuff. Nobody buys anything from there. That's the truth. And if they did, you don't make any money on it. So all of those who think that people with Cafe Press stores are making money hand over fist, you're fooling yourself. The fact of the matter is that if you put a markup on the stuff that's there that, that is any kind of a reasonable markup, you overprice the stuff that's there. Well, I don't do that. I just, I think I've got everything marked up a dollar. Uh, I'm sure I've told the story before. Somebody here bought a cup, uh, Zephy, who donates our, our server space and our Shoutcast server, 
uh, Zephy Networks is who is Sakura, is who it is that, that donates that to us. And uh, he went over and he, he supported the show, you know. He bought a cup, you know, like $14 and another $5 shipping for a coffee cup. And uh, he told me and I ran over to Cafe Press and I made 80 cents is what I made on that coffee cup. He spent 20 bucks, I made 80 cents. So if you think that people with Cafe Press stores are making money hand over fist, think again. It's going to take a whole lot of people coming in and out to, uh, at 80 cents to make any kind of money. And the partner program is probably going to be the same thing. Um, and that's probably the truth. I mean, you got to click on the links, and, and uh, you get like, I don't know what how much you get. I don't. Even, I, don't even, I haven't even read to find out how much I get. What you get like a, a a tenth of a penny for each one of those clicks, which means to date I've probably made a tenth of a penny. You know. Um, and so that's one of the reasons, probably, that my channel isn't changing because of the partner program. I still got crappy equipment, but it's getting better. I mean, I got the, I got the, uh, thanks to my friends, I got the, the mixer. You know, and I, and I completely, I, I, I come, I am so honored that they think enough of my shows and of my videos and stuff that they want to do that for me. That they're my friends, and they said, "Hey, I can help you out," and they did. I appreciate that. Anyway, don't be needy. Be happy with the things that you have. Have a goal to get things that are better, but don't let it stop you. Don't let it stop you from making videos. Don't let it stop you from communicating with your friends. Don't get bogged down with being needy. That's my advice for the new year. Always move forward. Learn something new every day. You know, and with the web at your fingertips, all you have to do is just think of something you don't know about, type it in, and go read about it, even if it's at Wikipedia. Just go read about it. And, and that, that will be a place of, to, to start off an investigation of something that you never knew existed. Learn something new every day. And every day, you'll be a richer person than you were the day before. So there's my advice. Don't be needy. Get off your ass and do some videos. Learn something new every day. And go over to freerice.com and feed some people. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free and it's fun. Everybody benefits. Until next time, this is Zen Archer saying you be well. Thank you.